How was your day? It's good. Is everything okay? It's fine. But you don't seem fine. Can I just fucking relax, please? It's been a long ass day. I don't need you to make it longer. This again, really? Never mind. What? Carrie, what's what the fuck's wrong? I don't understand. I, f I feel like you don't give a shit. Like you don't care about how I feel. <laughs> So fucking sensitive. You know that you you mope around this house all day long. You don't put any effort into anything. <laughs> Look at yourself. Lose some weight. Put on some fucking makeup. What the fuck do you expect? Nothing. I expect nothing. Stay in here. No, no, don't go. Don't, Dale, Carolyn, don't go. go. No, but I'm Let's sorry. Go. I'm go. sorry. No, it's Dale. Stop. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave me, babe. Just talk to me. Just talk to me.
So you stated on the phone a couple of things. Um, it sounds like you're really, really devastated. I know you said you have a lot of symptoms going on. It sounds like you have some real depression stuff. It sounds probably like some PTSD stuff, post-traumatic stress disorder. Sometimes the post-traumatic stress disorder is as much associated with that parent. Again, it's secondary trauma. There are a lot of little things. And what happens is we become part of the whole process when we re-experience something, for instance. How are you feeling about all that? What do I have to do? There's a lot that can be done getting through this. And this is a first step. It's a huge step coming here. 
but as we've stated, there are things to continue to do. But regardless, the one thing I do really, really, really want to stress to you now is you're not alone. This is, this is a start.